Welcome everyone to the Telos Tennis YouTube channel. My name is Peter Rennert and today we're going to focus on the feeling of being in a hurry and how you can identify one of the reasons why you might have that feeling and remove it. And the reason why that's important, it interferes. The feeling of being in a hurry interferes with being in the moment, with recovering in the moment. And I, telos applies to tennis, but, and I'm going to tie this to tennis, but I'm also going to tie this one to life. For years now, I've been working with clients doing telos life coaching, and one of them in the back and forth, when I, who was always in a hurry, and in our back and forth, we finally got to the reason she was always in a hurry was because she said she expected and designed her life as if she was going to get all green lights. And she was surprised as she said it, as was I, and I love the metaphor because actually we all do that to some degree. How prepared are we for an obstacle? When you're on the tennis court, if you get a let cord, does it throw you off? If the person cheats, does it throw you off? These are things that happen all the time. We don't get all green lights. So the expectation and designing my life and playing tennis as if I'm going to get all green lights, guaranteed we are not going to be able to recover in the moment. So I have a short story that I can tell you about the power of not expecting all green lights. I used to have a job where I worked at a resort and I had to park in the parking lot and walk 15 minutes to get to the courts. And I always got there a half hour early because I used the Telos principle, the power of two which is however long I thought it would take me to get somewhere, I just multiplied times two, and I found that was the magic number that allowed me to let go of the feeling of being in a hurry. Everybody's magic number is different. I suggest you try it and figure out which one works for you. I park in the parking lot. I get there. I'm walking to work. I'm not very far into my walk. I get to a gate that I have to always go through to get to the courts. I turn the knob. It's locked. I turn to my left, I turn to my right, I turn to my right, I continue going on my way, I get to the court early. Only when I got to the court early and I was palming did I reflect back and realize I've never done that before. I've never gotten to a locked door, turned it once, clearly established it was locked, and moved on. My pattern was turn the door, it's locked, Turn it again, it's never locked. Turn it one more time harder, who locked this? Turn it one more time, why would somebody lock this door? That doesn't make any sense. Then, because now I'm upset, frustrated, angry, I gotta think, okay, now what am I gonna do? But I'm not thinking as clearly because I might already be in my fight or flight nervous system because I'm late for work because some idiot locked the door. So you can see that's not a very effective way to live, but that's how I lived. That was my life. And through some grace, and the grace was practicing telos and using that simple principle, I wasn't in a hurry. So when I hit a red light, I simply changed direction. Now, I know all the you know, spiritual gurus and practices talk about being able to do that, but I could never do it. That's like people say, oh, just let it go. Well, if I could let it go, I would. It's not so easy to let it go, as most of you know. Anyway, I digress. The point being very simple, I applied suddenly Telos Tennis became Telos Life. It made my life better. It made me a better tennis player. It allowed me to experience way more joy because when I have the feeling of being in a hurry, when we have the feeling of being in a hurry, we cannot experience joy at the same moment as the feeling of being in a hurry. And all the feeling of being in a hurry is, is that my mind and my body are not working together to get me where I want to go. The top priority of telos, body, mind, harmony is the top priority. And usually what it means is my mind is racing and my body's got to keep up and my mind is telling my body, you're stupid, you're slow, come on, keep up, be a man, dig in, give 110%. I mean, the noise is incredible. So, multiply times two, apply it to scheduling. Now, it also applies to tennis. 
Are you not expecting to get a let court on a big point that goes against you? Are you not expecting that the other person is going to cheat? Are those red lights that you were not expecting, not prepared for, so you are emotionally more fragile? Because as soon as they hook you, you fall apart? What have you just expected? I'm probably going to get hooked today. They're probably going to get a let court lucky mm -hmm. shot. Those things are going to happen. That's part of the match. What if that was just designed into your game? What if that allowed you to develop emotional resiliency, the ability to recover in the moment, because of course red lights happen. Wouldn't that be amazing? And what would be even more amazing is if you did this and then you would share it with the Telos Tennis community, send it in the comments so I can hear about it, because it's really gratifying to know that what I'm sharing might help you. And that's all I got for today. So this is Peter Renner for Telos Tennis saying enjoy the day, enjoy your life, enjoy your tennis, enjoy. On that note, mm, it just feels good to hit a tennis ball. Let's face it, that's one of the reasons we play. All right, I'm out. <laughs>